everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So today is going to be another day of experiments. Um, before I get started, if you saw my last video where I did the challenge with Shelly, you um, saw that I did a Dutch pour using the Bloom Technique recipe. Um, I wanted to show you guys the dried result. Now I did do that video weeks ago. Um, even though I released it just the other day, the video was actually recorded weeks ago. And for everyone who was um, worried about Juno, he is fine. Um, he, whatever he had, it went away and he's totally fine. So don't worry about Juno. But in the meantime, over the weeks, this piece dried. It got a nice coat of art resin on top and you can see it is just gorgeous. So if you wanna see, um, at the end of this video, I will add another little clip of this piece and I will show you guys what it looks like with uh, direct sunlight hitting it. It is gorgeous in the sunlight, but just, I'm so happy with this piece. So, so, so happy with this piece. And I'm totally gonna do more, absolutely. The interference micas from Color Art, the Bling It line, are just stunning. So be prepared to see those micas in a lot of my future pours because if this is the result, then I'm definitely gonna be using them more. So this is a 12 by 12. It's got a nice coat of art resin on top. It is available for purchase. If anyone is interested, please email me at canelasiracoart, no, canelasiraco at gmail.com. And stay tuned to the very end of the video where you'll see another quick clip of this out in the sunlight. Next thing I wanted to show you real quick, if you're on Instagram, you may have seen my post uh, progress where I was working on this silver tray. This is a stainless steel um, tray that I purchased from Ikea. So you probably still has a sticker on the back. <clears throat> it's a stainless steel tray and what I did was I got some moon rocks, I will show you, from Leslie from Color Art. Again, these are, um, let me put this away before I ruin something. These are called moon rocks. And so what I did, here I'll show you. So I've shown these in a previous video a long, long time ago, but they're called moon rocks. All right. And so on the back it says... Uh, moon rocks painted with water soluble color and acrylic when adhering with glue or gel medium color may bleed slightly color is stable in resin epoxy and will not reactivate so there's all kinds of colors you can buy this one's called moonlight this one's potpourri this one is poseidon's grotto uh rose petal oh nautilus shell uh let's see there's some blues this one's called azure sea oh some gold pirate's booty this one's called pirate's booty uh aphrodite and one more i have tide pool so there is a ton of colors all right so what i did was i took them and placed them onto this tray literally piece by piece okay and i glued them down uh, and i let the glue dry for 24 hours and then when it was all dry i made sure there were no loose pieces and i blew off any excess glitter or powder or whatever um, and then i added a layer of art resin so it is just stunning and I had to come back to this piece every half hour for like four hours and pop any bubbles that surface because there were air bubbles trapped underneath the moon rocks. And so bubbles would just surface out of nowhere. And so I had to come back to it every half hour or so and torch all the bubbles out. But um, it was tedious and this was a very, very long process, um, but it's done. So I'm very, very, very happy with the outcome. And if anyone is interested in buying this beautiful tray, 
um, you can do so by emailing me. And I believe it's a 16 inch. I, don't quote me on that, I'd have to check, but I'm very, very happy with this. Alrighty, so I think that's all I have to show you for now. Um, if you saw my little rounds, they are also done and have um, a top coat of resin. Look at that shine. So this also had the iridescence in it as well. The other ones are too far away, I can't reach them. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna experiment again. And you all saw me do the Dutch pour using the Interference Bling It by Color Art. All right, so Interference Gold, Interference Violet, and I have Interference Blue. And it is the Bling It line by Color Art. And if you go on the Color Art website, which I have in the link description, the, in the description below of my video, you can save 20% off the entire website. Um, there's no minimum order, 20% off anything on the whole website. Use code CANELA120. Do not use a capital K, it's with a lowercase k, CANELA120, and you can save 20% off anything on the website. So I use these with the um, Bloom Recipe ingredients. Now I, all, I know a lot of you don't do the Bloom Recipe. I know a lot of you don't want to buy the ingredients for the Bloom Recipe, and I totally get that. But I know you guys like or want, I've seen a lot of comments where people want to use the interference paints, and I've asked, will it work with your Dutch pour method? So I am going to try it out and it's a total experiment. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It's just a cheap level one canvas. Since I am experimenting, I'm not gonna use my gallery wrap level three canvases, but if this does work out and it turns out really well, then you're gonna see a heck of a lot more of these kind of videos. So my question now is, what do I mix my interference paints with? Now, I could use the Polypore or the Vivid Enamel from Color Art. The only problem is they don't play nice with Floetrol, okay? So my Bloom Recipe does not have any Floetrol in it um, except for the Cell Activator, which is just a tiny amount. However, the Polypore and the Vivid Enamel do not play well with um, Floetrol and the paint fractals and it separates, so it's no good. But I figured, what can I mix these with in order to still use the Dutch pour technique? Um, so I've decided I'm going to try using Floetrol and Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Now this already has a shimmer to it, it's Iridescent Medium. I add it to a lot of my um, paints. Um, the Bloom Technique paints to make them shimmer and shine. Um, but I've decided to try using this because it is a thick consistency like all tube paints. So I figured I would mix this just like I would my regular tube paints. So Floetrol paint and water, right? Same concoction, same mixing. And just I did Floetrol, iridescent medium and water. And then I added like a heaping popsicle stick full of the iridescent meat, uh, the iridescent micas. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it gonna flop? I don't know. I have no idea. But you can see, I think, or I hope, the gold shimmer in there. So I've done the gold, the violet. I don't know if you can even see that. All right, and the blue. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I really don't. We're gonna figure it out. What I did try was I used my white, oh, uh-oh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. You will not believe what happened. I had my white bottle, not this one, another one, at the edge of the table and I knocked it over and this, top part here cracked off and splattered paint 
everywhere and it was just the whole bottle was full and it was pooling all over the floor um, so that was about 45 minutes ago and yeah I just spent about 45 minutes um, wiping up paint off the floor off the walls off the doors off some of my pieces that were on the floor thank God they are varnished pieces so the paint just wiped right off but oh my goodness I just about had a heart attack and of course the whole time I'm sitting there cleaning I'm thinking oh please don't let my husband come downstairs please don't let him see this because he's going to freak out and sure enough I turn my head and he's literally standing over me and he's like what happened and I'm like I dropped a bottle of paint he's like is it coming off and I'm like yeah and he's like okay as long as it's coming off <laughs> oh man in my entire time of painting and doing art I have never ever dropped a bottle of paint or any paint on the floor so anywho um, back to our regularly scheduled programming um, what I wanted to say was I took some white and put it in a cup one of these little cups and put the interference mica in this but I don't think it's gonna work um, I also don't want to flood or put white on it because I don't want it to mess with the boldness of my colors so that's why I decided to try the iridescent medium oh here here's the here's the lid that's the lid of the bottle I might as well throw that out <laughs> I just I can't believe that happened oh my goodness talk about wasting 45 minutes of my time all right let's get to this I'm going to flood the canvas with my white just to save some time and I'll be right back all right guys I have flooded my canvas with my white I'm just gonna pop the bubbles real quick Lots of bubbles going on in here. All right, so the colors I am using tonight is or are the Deep Sapphire by Deco Art, one of my new colors, um, Berry by Deco Art, the 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art, and then I have the Dioxazine Purple by Golden. So this is the golden brand and then deep turquoise which is deco art but it's the texture bottle the one i showed you guys in a, a few videos back so i'm going to use those and in between putting those down i'm going to be adding the interference in between so here goes nothing we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see how it works out if the interference colors don't show through or don't do anything, then I'm sure the rest of these colors will still look um, pretty beautiful. So I'm going to do my squiggly lines like so and see what happens. So I have the kids home um, so far kind of okay. You know, they've been uh, taking turns kind of sleeping over at grandma's who happens to live just down the road those are my in-laws so that's uh i did that wrong i wanted to put this color last see i'm not even paying attention all right now i kind of messed up the order of how i wanted to do everything i wanted the <laughs> i wanted the deep sapphire to be um on top but I guess not so now i will add the uh iridescent or the I always call it iridescent the um, interference blue since I already just put two blues down I will add the interference blue all right so now I will add the 24 karat gold okay as I was saying um, tonight we're gonna drop the kids off at uh, my mom's so that's about an hour away from where I live um, so they will be going down to 
My parents, which are called uh, Yaya and Papu, that is Grandma and Grandpa in Greek. Yaya is Grandma and Papu is Grandpa. So there's your Greek lesson for the day. Uh, and we will be leaving them there for, I don't know, a couple of days at least, probably till the weekend. Uh, it is what today? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Uh, okay. Now the interference violet. That is a lot of paint on here, guys. This is insane. Okay, and last but not least, the berry, even though I wanted the blue on top, but uh, berry it is. There we go. That uh, is a lot of colors going on there. And I won't be flooding my paints i will actually torch where's my torch all right let's see what we end up with put this here if you hear any stomping going on that is my daughter playing with juno upstairs all right let's uh let's figure this out There is so much paint on this canvas. It's not even funny. Okay, so uh, it looks gorgeous. I love the colors and the cells that are happening here are fantastic. I'm really liking it. The only part, so that berry is very dominant here and here, which is not the end of the world. I'm really loving the rest of this. I love it. The question is, how's it gonna dry? And I can see here the uh, interference violet. It's just, how's it gonna dry? And what, holy cow, look at that, right? Uh, why is all the beautiful stuff on the edge? And I bet you that's gonna end up falling off the edge at some point. But it is just, this is gorgeous. Let me just get my little, there we go. Had a little white part of the canvas showing there. All right, holy cow. Okay, I don't know if I should do anything to this uh, except um, just torch my petals here and here just to see um, if anything surfaces. Oh yeah, I like that so much better. I'm gonna do it over here and maybe a little here. Wow. I like that and I'm not touching anything else because I don't want, wow, look at these clusters. They're so pretty and I don't want that in here. I definitely don't want that in here. I don't think I'm gonna touch anything else on here. Um, I know if I start messing with it and blowing around, it's gonna mess with the composition. So, uh, I love it. I love it. I love the colors. This is really good. So again, I don't know, like, I mean, I see the shimmer, but that could be just from using the 24 karat gold. Um, so I don't know if the iridescence are shimmering in here. Like I said, I do see the violet here a little bit, but when this is dry, I will check it out and see what comes about. But I, I'm not really sure, I don't think so. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to like look at it on an angle. Oh, hi. I'm trying to look at it on an angle and see if uh, I can see the shimmer, but I don't know. I, it doesn't matter whether you can or you can't, it's a gorgeous piece. And again, if it doesn't work and the iridescent, oh my God, I keep calling them iridescent. The interference, if the interference micas do not show up in here, I'm just gonna go back to using um, the Bloom recipe and just do a few more pieces doing that. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. All right, guys, so here it is. 
Um, I'm extremely, extremely happy with this and with the actual color choices. Um, so there's the shimmer you can see. Now, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but there is a little bit of purple shimmer going on in there. So look at these. I'm like so happy. Okay, so here is where I torched it. Now, doesn't that look beautiful there? Just on the tip and same thing over here. This was all white and then I torched it and now we have the tip of the petal just totally got all these beautiful little cells and stuff and it's just so look at that look at the shimmer shimmer yes i'm saying shimmer and i love this that's really neat that little design of the webbing and the cells going on this is a beautiful piece i'm i'm so stoked like seriously this is gorgeous so um we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like um, when it's dry and see if anything shines through but in the meantime let me know what you guys think in the comments give it a thumbs up if you like it um, if you are a new watcher please hit that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell guys I would really appreciate it my goal is to hit a hundred thousand subscribers I'm almost at 70 so I'm almost there but I can't do it if uh, I don't get your help so <laughs> hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, like again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. If you are interested in purchasing this when it is dry and varnished, you can email me um, as soon as possible before someone else snags it at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Everything else is listed in the description below. Check out the color art website, save 20% off the entire website, all the information is in the description below, as well as my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, and that's it for now. Check out Juno's channel, Juno the Husky. He has a YouTube channel as well. That's it for now, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors, um, you know, I wish everyone nothing but health and safety and please, please, please take care of yourselves. Um, don't take this lightly. This is getting really serious. You know, just please be safe. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.